Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at light as a form of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, we're going to talk about what electromagnetic radiation is, uh, the different types of radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum, as well as some physics stuff about the anatomy of waves, and then we're going to talk about visible light being the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that we as humans are able to detect. Uh, so firstly, electromagnetic radiation is radiation, so it carries as a wave, that has both an electric and a magnetic component to it. Uh, as I said, light is a form of electromagnetic radiation, so light travels at the speed of light, go figure. Uh, all other electromagnetic radiation also travels at the speed of light. That is 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, or 300,000 kilometers per second. So it's super, super fast. Um, it doesn't require a medium to travel through, and that's how light gets here through the vacuum of space from the sun to the earth. And it comes in different wavelengths. And I'll talk a bit about what wavelengths are later on. And we've got different types, so ranges within those wavelengths we've got different names for. And we talk about the whole lot of electromagnetic radiation as the electromagnetic spectrum. The spectrum looks a bit like this. We have small wavelengths at the top with our gamma rays moving through, or wavelengths getting larger into X-rays, ultraviolet or UV rays visible light, so this is the stuff that we can actually see with our eyes, infrared radiation or IR, microwaves, and then television and radio waves. So as I said, the electromagnetic spectrum goes from gamma rays having the shortest wavelength at 10 to the minus 4 meters, so super, super small, up to uh, radio waves with the longest wavelength of 10 to the 4. Now, wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency, and I'm about to talk about what those words actually mean. Um, but if it's got a short wavelength, it has a high frequency and therefore also a high energy. While long wavelengths have a low frequency and a low energy. Uh, this is why something like radio waves, it's completely safe to have many, many radio stations, television stations, broadcasting radio waves uh, around through us at any time, causing no problems, uh, while if you were exposed to gamma rays with that high energy, um, or X-rays, also high energy for a period of time, that could cause some major problems. Uh, so talking about those particular terms found when we use wave, uh, talking about waves, uh, firstly the wavelength and the symbols lambda, you don't really need to know that, uh, but it's the length of the wave from crest to crest. So a short wavelength might look like this, and a long wavelength might look like this. Um, as far as scale goes, this is one's five times smaller than this one. Um, in our electromagnetic radiation, we're talking a much, much bigger variation between those gamma rays um, and the radio waves. Another measure of waves is the frequency. As I said, this is inversely proportional to the wavelength, meaning long wavelength, low frequency, short wavelength, high frequency, and it's a measure of how many waves pass a particular point in a second. As I said, we're moving at the speed of light for electromagnetic radiation, so you're going to get a lot of wavelengths pass in a second, even at that long uh, wavelength, and it is measured in hertz. So if this was how many waves passed in one unit of time, on this side, in the high frequency, we'd have one, uh, so the high frequency, low, uh, short wavelength, we'd have one, two, three, four, five wavelengths, uh, and in this one, we'd have one wavelength. So this would be five hertz, this would be one hertz. Uh, so, as I said, short wavelength, high frequency, long wavelength, low, uh, long wavelength, low frequency, low energy. So these things all completely safe, these things fairly dangerous. And you can see that the visible light, this part here, is only a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. In fact, it sits on the electromagnetic spectrum between about 380 nanometers, and this is wavelengths, uh, to about 780 nanometers. Uh, and these are different, you can see different numbers in different books, but this is roughly where we sort of define visible light as being. Now down that uh, short wavelength, high frequency, we have blue light, and down at the longer wavelength, 
lower frequency we have red light. Now we get this way out of visible light, we get to infrared being past the red, and if we get this way past the blue, we the next uh, band there is ultraviolet light. In this video we have looked at electromagnetic radiation being radiation that has both an electric and a magnetic component to it. Uh, we've talked about the electromagnetic spectrum being the range of different waves of which we can only detect visible light with our eyes. Uh, we've talked about a couple of very basic anatomy things, in, uh, wave anatomy things, including the wavelength being the distance from crest to crest and the frequency as how many waves pass a particular point in a second. Uh, and we know that Waves with a short wavelength will have a high frequency and waves with a long wavelength will have a short frequency. Uh, we then talked about visible light in that 480 to 780 going from blue up to red. And this is the wavelengths that we can detect with our eyes. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.